Hi everyone, I'm, I'm Mark with Artisan Restoration and I'm over at the Sofa's house doing a little um, video walkthrough tour, I guess you'd say. And it's, uh, here it is in the election day, 2024. And it's raining outside, so we're not going to do that today. Here's, uh, <clears throat> there's my faithful companion, Buddy. Um, uh, throughout the house, I want to show you, we've got, um, we've got these, um, shotgun shells put in, uh, certain places where we've got screws or legs that we want to cover up. Now you just stay right there, buddy. Anyhow, this is the, um, this is basically what I did with an old barn. Um, it was a double pen barn. It was an 18 by 24 uh, section here and another 18 by 24 section over there. And they actually would drive through this area here to get the hay upstairs. Um, so anyway, we totally redid that. that <clears throat> I think that used to be an old door, so we, we kept that. That wall there has been totally reconfigured. And there was an old door there, we, we decided to keep that. But um, <clears throat> our flooring in here is all black walnut that I um, uh, got from a fellow in Mankato who wanted to get rid of the trees. And um, there was, was a, uh, enough walnut uh, so we also used some um, ash um, for the remainder of the floor here because uh, we've got a uh, bunch of ash trees that are dying in the area anyhow our our kitchen here has got um, got these shelves which we are basically are hanging from these old steel rods those were actually turnbuckles that came out of an old barn we took down a couple of years ago. Um, our countertops are made out of um, 3x12s, which you'll see a lot of uh, in the house. Um, and they weren't quite wide enough to make a 24-inch countertop, so we put a chunk of black walnut in the middle to um, get them a little wider. Um, over here, we've got this black walnut table covered up with a bunch of old newspaper paper articles about about our escapades. And we've got, got a spot in the middle here where I want to put uh, some lights um, underneath it um, to accent it a little bit. It's, um, it's what you call a live edge table. Um, and uh, they're both they're they're cut from the same from the same tree, uh, which you can see here. Um, this is basically a mirror image of this other side over here. Oh, well, we we cut them in half and we we put these two pieces together as a mirror image, and then this piece also was taken out of the log, but it's not an exact mirror. And these we were put together. Anyway, um, over here in this end of the house is a uh, bedroom wing, I call it. It's made from my grandparents' log cabin uh, that I got out of Green Bay, Wisconsin. And here's the massive bath. And um, that's an old, that's, well, it's not an old vanity. It's a vanity we can, um, or a dresser we converted into a vanity, I should say. And in here, this used to be my uh, grandparents' living room. The front door was situated where that window was. And over here, there was a stairway going to the upstairs, which basically kind of covered up and hid that window. We never knew it was a full-size window like in the rest of the house until I took it down. Over here, next door, we've got like a... Um, it's designed kind of like a mother-in-law suite and uh, this was actually this the dining room um, in my uh, in my grandparents house 
and the kitchen sat back over here where we now have a, a, a bathroom. And that bathroom has an old dresser converted into a, a vanity. Um, the drawers in the middle here are, are, are not operable. And the one down here had to be modified in order to get the drain <laughs> It's hard to get the drain in there, but um, let's. We've got a, all the vanities have been made out of old furniture, um, including this this one here in the half bath. Upstairs, um, these planks here are the same material that I made that countertop out of. They came out of a, um, some buildings up in. Um, northern Minnesota that were demolished by some friends of mine in the demolition business and we made the the uh, railings out of those pieces and actually we made the posts uh, for them as well because we we glued the uh, the members together to come up with the six by six posts and then we put re-rod in there for our balusters and up here, um, these are really fake, fake beams. They don't hold up the roof. The roof holds them up. And they were originally the floor joists uh, that were in my grandparents' living room, which had a, a ton of uh, lead-based paint on them. And we spent a long time cleaning them up and getting, getting the, them sanded down. So, there's a little bedroom up here, obviously. Yeah, let's go downstairs quick. I, we've got three more bedrooms, uh, bathroom, family room downstairs. Oh, I guess might as well take a quick peek at the garage. We've got a big three-stall garage here with the center floor drain. Uh, it's, it doesn't have radiant heat in it, but it's set up for a heater. And then over here, we've got a, a screen porch, which everybody in Minnesota uh, needs to have um, because of our uh, state bird being the uh, mosquito. And, and off the screen porch, we've got a um, limestone patio here where you can do grilling and, and so forth. So this is all done with reclaimed barn wood for the ceilings um, and the uh, siding. The, the siding on the garage is all reclaimed barn wood also. Okay, for the basement. Our stairs here, again, are made out of the old um, 3x12s I got from my demolition buddies. And <clears throat> well, the fireplace upstairs is a wood-burning fireplace. Down here, um, we decided to put a gas fireplace in. And um, the mantle for this, uh, actually, uh, couple of oak logs that I picked up over uh, in Wisconsin and we uh, we had to treat them for insects there's uh, there's some uh, evidence of powder post beetles and stuff in here that we so we treated them we had, we had to fill in a, an old mortise here and then um, all this limestone was actually sitting in my storage yard for about 20 years and uh, we didn't have enough to finish the whole fireplace, so at the mantle we switched to a different uh, design. So this is the family room here. Um, and back here we got our utility room. And the electrician's still, well, he got most of the work done here, except he didn't clean up. But we got radiant in-floor heat uh, here with this boiler. And the boiler also um, 
serves for our um, hot water. It's like an on-demand um, water heater, so we don't have a regular style uh, water heater tank down here. And that's an air-to-air -air heat exchanger that um, is used to provide fresh ventilation for the house and so forth. Um, you'll notice the doors down here are kind of unique. The uh, <clears throat> My guys begged me to let them build the doors and, and uh, finally I gave in and, this, and uh, they turned out beautiful. Um, let's, we, got, we got the light on here. <clears throat> Here's another old um, dresser that we made into um, a, uh, a vanity and we uh, carefully uh, had to modify the drawers a little bit to um, so we could use some of them anyhow and here's those doors I was talking about um, the panels in the center are made out of um, clear one by four tongue and groove redwood um, and th there's there isn't a knot in those center panels these outside pieces were actually some old um, rafters came out of a barn or something and uh, thank goodness we put them in a kiln and dried them out because they haven't warped or done anything <coughs> that they weren't supposed to they're holding up great um, in here we uh, well, we've got another reclaimed timber up there. It's an old glue lamb timber that um, we got out of a bank down by Albert Lee. The ceiling here is uh, corrugated uh, tin from an old barn we took down last year up by Bell Plain. And that big ugly box in the corner is uh, there to... Um, and close the vent from the fireplace because we didn't we didn't get it installed um, in time, so the space up in the floor got uh, taken over by the plumber and the and the heating guys. So now here you can see that that timber um, a lot better. It was pretty rough shape, but the guys sanded on it and. We got a couple of nice scratches in it, but uh, it uh, it turned out pretty good. I think it looks better than sheetrock, anyhow. Over here is kind of a storage a slash exercise room that um, we just painted the floor in the other day. And these other bedrooms down here basically got the same design with the reclaimed big timber. Um, all of our trim um, that you see throughout the house uh, is also reclaimed uh, barn timbers and things like that. You can see uh, nail holes in it and cracks <laughs> and uh, defects that basically go with um, any reclaimed wood. But big old knots over there that have falling out <laughs> but I really love the doors they they work perfect and they look beautiful this one's got a little bit more redwood in it than the, that first one I showed you so um, anyhow let me shut off the lights here um, I guess that's about it you know, except the uh, Oh, we've got one more thing, which is a direct access out to the garage, which is really, um, really came in handy during the construction phase. And again, you can see it's made out of those three by 12 timbers that uh, we did the rest of the stairways out of also. So anyhow. That, I think pretty much is the uh, end of the tour, folks. So anyhow, um, maybe I'll try it again on a you know, more sunny day. It's uh, pretty overcast today, and then I'll get to do the, the outside too. 
So uh, thanks for watching.